Hey everyone, my name is PJ Medine. I'm with the band Breakthrough, and today I am taking a look at the GC12 and GC21 cables by Aji Off. So as you may or may not know, I've tested out Aji Off cables in the past. I'll put that demo at the end of this video, or I'll put a link out to the demo. So as you might know, I've done an Ajioth demo in the path, in the path. Uh. So as you might know, I've done an Ajioth demo in the past. I will link out to that video at the end of this one. Uh, they sent me a couple more to test out today. The Ajioth GC12 and Ajioth uh, GC21 series, their guitar cables. Um, honestly, I haven't taken a look at them yet they told me that they didn't want me to take a look at them until i was doing this video so i didn't go in with any preconceived notions so you guys get to learn all about these cables with me so let's take a look at the back of this box here it gives there are four types of cables that they're making right now um, the gc12 series sports and some of you are going to know what this means more than i do right now Oxygen free copper conductor 1220, PE conductor insulation 2.0, conductive PVC, spiral shield 1256, PVC jacket nylon braid. That's the GC12 and the GC21. Uh, says it's got oxygen free copper conductor 1548, PE conductor insulation 2.6, conductive PVC, spiral shield 1556, just like the GC12. Uh, and a PVC jacket. So, um, they're only gonna be marginally different is what I'm gathering here. And again, like I said, some of you are gonna understand what this stuff means more than I do because I don't make guitar cables and I don't nerd out about that stuff. I went and bought myself a monster cable and called it good. So, let's go ahead and open these up and see what they're all about. Fancy schmancy. Okay, so the major difference that I noticed right away is that the GC12 is shorter than the GC20. So I think I'm figuring out what the 12 and 21, oh sorry, GC21, what the 12 and 21 stand for. Um, I also noticed that printed on the cable, it says professional low noise instrument cable. Good, I like professional stuff and I like them low noise and they also have uh, it looks to be gold tips, which is a real good deal. I like that. I like that on my monster cables. Um, I think what I'm going to do today, uh, because I totally went into this with a plan, um, is I'm going to test these out and see if there's a big difference tonally between the shorter cable and the longer cable. Let's give that a shot. <sighs> wow, this is in there good. Okay, um, so like I've done in the past with other core demos, I'm just gonna plug this cable right into my uh, audio interface and run that into my DAW and then play a little guitar for you. We'll get some tones. <laughs> Okay, well, the GC12 sounded great. Didn't sound too terribly different from any other cable I've ever demoed before. So now let's move on to the GC21 and see if there are any major tonal differences on account of cable length. <laughs>
Okay, really didn't notice any major differences there. Uh, the 21 sounded basically like the 12, uh, or at least very close. You can go ahead and rewind the video and see if you feel any differently. Um, I wanted to compare these two cables against my monster cable, but I just don't have time for that today. I'm gonna have to record a second video. Uh, and before I call it quits today, I do wanna point out that the GC21 did come with a cable wrap, which is always a bonus in my book. Can't have enough cable wraps. I hate to have cables that are stored in a messy manner. Um, anyway, if you guys want to get a couple of these cords for yourself, I'll throw some links down in the video description. And I wanna say thanks for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you.